Good morning. It's Thanksgiving Day, Thursday, November 23rd, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Thanks Living. And our scripture is John's Gospel, chapter 3, verse 16. For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. At one time, the English poet Rudyard Kipling's writings were so in demand that he was paid ten shillings per word for his efforts. That's about a dollar per word. A group of students thought that was outrageous, and they sent him a letter with ten shillings enclosed. They asked him, since his words were so expensive, to send them his best word. He replied, of course, thanks. In all of life and human existence, our best word is grace. Today, as we once again celebrate Thanksgiving, we could talk about the many ways God's loving grace provides for our needs, of food and a roof over our head, healing, miracles, family and friends, freedom. But the best word is still grace, and no scripture says it better than John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. I am thankful for grace. A few things about grace. First of all, his grace is enough. His grace is enough to forgive my sin and make me clean. That means I will not perish because I'm forgiven. A man was considering the purchase of a Rolls Royce, and he asked the dealer some questions about the luxury car, and all of them were answered until the man asked how much horsepower the engine had. Well, the dealer didn't know, and since there was no manual for this handcrafted vehicle, he sent a telegram to England for the answer, how much horsepower does a Rolls have? Shortly, a return message came, and there was just one word, enough. As much and as bad as my sins are, Jesus' grace is enough to wash me white as snow. And then another thing, his grace is not only enough, it's eternal. Eternal life is as much quality as quantity. None of us would care to live forever if it meant the current human condition. As a child, it seemed that I would just go on forever. And I know better now. Bodies wear out. Relationships falter. There's much suffering and pain in the human family. Anything that will last forever had better be the best. I'm grateful that I will live forever and for better. I have the greatest gift for which to be thankful. And so, considering that His grace is enough and eternal, how do I respond? We're taught from a very young age that when somebody gives you something, you say, thank you. And as we also find out, words can be cheapened if we do not back them up with actions that match those words. To say thank you for all God has done is best said by living it out. So, I'm going to live thankfully. For me, today and every day is thanks living day. For you today. I've no great homework assignment to lay on your shoulder today, only a prayer for your day and for your life that you may find joy, peace, and eternal rest as you live thankfully in our Lord's presence. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.